going to show you how you can use your eyes to find and fix electrical shorts in your car. And I'm going to do it using a thermal imaging camera. Now many people are afraid of electrical work on their car for one main reason. You can't see electricity, it's invisible. You can see when a fan belt's broken, you can see when a valve cover gasket's leaking oil, but you can't see electricity until now. Granted, these thermal imaging cameras don't see electricity directly, but wherever they're so short, it's generally going to build up a bunch of heat. This will see the hot area, and you can find it quick, like this. A thermal imaging camera like this shows where there's heat. Now, this is a part of the fuse box where there's no problem, so it's just blue. There's no heat at all. But you can see when I put my hand in there, now there's all kinds of thermal imaging. You can see the heat coming off my hand. It picks up heat. So when you have a place where there's an electrical short, it will build up heat from the electricity shorting out and you'll be able to see the heat on the gun and see what part has the problem. And as we go along further, we can see, aha, there is a big rectangular type hot spot. And it's right here. It's the headlight relay. And perhaps the coolest thing is, if you push this button, it goes from infrared to normal, and then you can see what area is hot without having to guess. So in just a couple seconds, we found where the short was in the system without having to trace everything down. It's an amazing device, really. Now this relay test was done with the car turned off, because with the car turned off, there shouldn't be any power going anywhere. And if there's power going here, you know, that's where the problem area is. But you can also use this machine to check for shorts while the car is running. Because a thermal imaging device does relative temperature. Even though the running wires might be getting hot, where there's an actual problem in a short or a bad connection, that will be even hotter and you can find it. You could follow the wires and then when you get to a part where all of a sudden it's hotter, you know that's where the problem is. In this case the connector was getting hot and that's because it's corroded inside. The corroded part takes more electricity to go through and it heats up. A little spray electrical cleaner cleaned up the contacts and it went back to working normal. Now I know some people are going to whine and say, hey, those cameras are expensive. Well, years ago, they cost thousands and thousands of dollars, but not anymore. Heck, I bought mine on eBay. Got it used for about 150 bucks. And if you go to Amazon, hey, they have thermal imaging cameras that work with your iPhones or Androids, and some of them are less than $200 brand new. And realize that these thermal imaging cameras have a lot more usage than finding electrical shorts. They're very handy for doing all kinds of heating work, air conditioning work, and basically, your imagination is the only thing that's going to limit what you can use it for. And so the next time you think, I can't work on this electrical system, I can't see electricity, it confuses me. Realize that you can see it now with one of these thermal imagers. And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.